In this question, we are trying to match tables to graphs, and we don't know which table matches which graph. There are no axes on here of values, so it's really almost impossible to tell which tables which graph without actually graphing these values. So that's what we're going to do. I have a brand new page open in Excel, so I'm going to copy all these values, and I'll just paste them in the upper upper left here. Now I want to build a plot from these and you need to go over to insert and then the chart we want is called a scatter plot. So again you're probably on the home right here you want to go to insert, chart, and make sure you go scatter chart. Uh, don't choose any of the other ones. Um, it's similar to one with the line but don't do the line yet. We're going to do that later. We're going to build our own line later. So we're just going scatter plot. Now for me, it made it way too big. I got to fit three on the screen. So you shrink it. Be careful. There's a lot of elements in a chart. Uh, the title doesn't matter for us. Uh, I just want to put it up next to the data here. All right. So from this chart, we should be able to tell, is it A, B, or C? A and B are pretty similar. But if you look at A, there's these two points that are almost horizontally aligned and that's not happening in the chart right here. So this first one right here, I'm going to go with B, matching graph. All right, next one here, copy, paste, and you could highlight the labels, no problem, insert, chart, scatter. Make this reasonable size. Uh, label doesn't matter for this question. All right, this one is a bit tricky to see. I think it's part, it's graph C down here. The, I think I have to make this a bit taller if I wanted it to look more similar. Remember the axes are off a bit, are scaled a bit different. So now, now it looks pretty similar to what we see over here. So you have to use your imagination a little bit. Um, I'm gonna scale it back down so it fits, but this is gonna be graph C right here. And last up, so of course this should be the last one, which is A, but we're going to check just to make sure, copy, paste, highlight, insert. Uh, I believe recommended chart will give you the scatter. No, nope, never mind. too many options, all right. Charts, scatter, shrink. All right, so there should be the A. And again, if you really wanted to make it look similar, you can stretch it out. So now it does look pretty similar to A right here. So that was this graph, or this chart, matching graph was A. I'm gonna submit this here, make sure that we're right. Check, check, check. All right, we have to now decide the slope, the correlation, positive or negative. Now, obviously this one down here doesn't have a correlation really. Uh, it may have a slight one, but A and B definitely have a negative correlation. You go down to the right, down to the right. So these are gonna be negative, and I put the word mostly negative. Uh, so these are gonna be negative. Uh, let's go with the behavior now. So these are not about positive and negative, this is most linear, moderately linear, or least linear. What that means is, how close is it to being on a line? So let's look at this. This first one's pretty good. The second one's pretty good too, but this second one right here kind of curves away. So I'd say B is not the most linear, but it's mostly linear, moderately linear. Uh, A, I think, is the most linear, which is down here. Remember, this matching graph is A. A is the most linear. And then this one C is a mess, and that is least linear. Now make sure you can plot these because next uh, section or two, we're plotting a lot of graphs.